That's what we see in the opening credits at the end with that big, like, demon-looking creature sitting on it. Oh, dude, so that's a dungeon master that was sitting on that core in the opening? I love how D&D &D it feels, dude, with a dungeon master. Yo, dudes, it's time to watch Reincarnated as a Sword, Episode 4. And last episode ended on a crazy note. Fran staring down a bunch of hobgoblins, ready to face her toughest challenge yet. And I am more than ready to see it happen. So let's jump into it. Yo, the OST already playing? I love the OST in this series, dude. The, the music is so good. Yeah, you do, don't you? He has to get stronger. Yes. All right, Fran, do it. Nice. I love the weight behind the swings, dude. Damn. But she can take care of herself, dude. She's been through a lot before she even met you, teacher. She wants to make it her own, dude. Mm-hmm. You're just catching up, just catching up the speed, huh? Support your daughter, dude. Nice, dude. We're gonna see her fight the Goblin King, dude? Let's go. You got Sentient Sword backing you up, bruh. She got a battle ahead of her. She's taking her first step towards evolution, dude. Let's go, dude. She's been fighting until fucking level 12, dude. I was wondering if she was going to hit level 12. I thought maybe 10, but I was thinking 12 would be more likely. Yes, yeah, she is, dude. He put in that work. Level 12, Fran, dude. A goblin stampede is going to happen? Oh, boy. We're going to a dungeon, dude. Let's go. Bro, she was ready to keep going. Frown is hardcore, dude. Be prepared for the dungeon, you know? But apparently, there's going to be a stampede, so maybe this is going to happen before they go to the dungeon, dude. And she's currently taking G rank missions, right? Oh, they made a home? Did they dig out the. Do dungeons just randomly appear? There it is. Okay. Oh, they drove out the weaker hobgoblins and goblins? Yo, is it about to heat up, dude? I'm all for that, bro. We get to see more of Fran put in work and see some of these other adventures also do some work. Yo, she's already rank F? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, it deserves to be rank G. Yeah. She already proved herself. Oh? That's cool as hell, dude. He doesn't have to do the physical work. He can just use repair magic? Yo. And he used some of the monster crystals as well. Or that's a different crystal, I guess. Bro, is teacher gonna learn repair magic, dude? Oh, okay. So the cost raises up because more crystals are needed. That's what we see in the opening credits at the end with that big, like, demon-looking creature sitting on it. Oh, dude, so that's a dungeon master that was sitting on that core in the opening? I love how D&D &D it feels, dude, with a dungeon master. Bro, I'm getting more and more invested in this series, dude. I was not expecting to be this invested in this isekai, bro. Dude, I guess we're gonna get the dungeon in, like, episode 5, I would assume. Nice! Let's go, dude. Goblin killer sl- Dude. Nice, so the titles have inherent stat boosts. Very nice. Well, I mean, he has the word chaos in his title. <laughs> He's chaotic. Ten main gods, okay. Mm -hmm. Beasts? 
The cycle of samsara, okay. 78 gods? So like minor gods? So that's one of the last remaining main gods, huh? Well, I'm guessing the other gods murked him. Severed into pieces. Oh? Oh, wow. So they, they were born from the god of war? That's crazy. <laughs> what a history lesson. And the moons, there's like, what, five moons? Or six moons? I wonder what the moons represent, because there's six of them. And they focused on it a few different times. No longer wrapped up in a sheath, or wrapped up in cloth, bro. You got yourself a proper scabbard. <laughs> Yo, Fran's getting all hyped, dude. They're already attacking, dude. They must have sensed your presence outside or something. Oh, they're going to work. They are, bro. They're intelligent. There's something fishy going on here, bro. Is it? They fear her, so they run away? Dude, that's crazy, bro. I love the little mechanics in this because it feels such like an MMO, you know? So much like an MMO. Nice, dude. Is this where she rides the sword, bro? Dude, he's walking on air. Let's go! Mid-air jump, dude! Dude, this show is so hype, bro. Nice! Try explosion, yup. Oh, I, I love this series, dude. I love just the vibe, dude. The OST kicking in and her using new moves. Let's go, Flan! They don't want her in, bro. They gotta protect their queen and king. <laughs> What's he doing, dude? Yo, dude. The sound effects are on point. Just, they're doing a great job with this series, bro. Goblin Empire is the name of the dungeon? What? 